Hey, what's up? It's Brianna. So recently I picked up all of the Allori palettes from Juvia's Place. They just recently launched these, I believe. Now, I'm not too sure if I'm saying it right. If you know how to say the name of these, let me know. It's O-L-O-R-I is how it's spelled. But these palettes are gorgeous and also they had a really good bundle deal. Like, I could not pass it up. But, I mean, just look at how amazing. This is um, number one. And it kind of has like this tropical kind of feel to it. But the one that really caught my eye, the one that I really wanted to try was number two. I mean, look at that. Like it is so smoky and sparkly. But like, I, I just, there's something about this one. Like when I saw it, I just had to have it. And then also we have number three. And this one, again, has kind of like a tropical, summery kind of vibe to it. So I just primed these puppies off camera, but the first shade we're going to be going in with, again, is the only matte in here. And also the shades in here don't have names. Ooh, that is pigmented. Oh my gosh. Like, I barely dip my brush into the pan, and I mean, just like, look at how much it picked up. But this is a Morphe M433. It's like one of those, like, pinch blending brushes. And I'm just going to take it in my crease, and holy shit. <laughs> it was not... Like, I know Juvia's is known for pigmentation, and that's why I love buying from them, but oh my gosh, like, oh, like I was not expecting it to be like that. I thought it was going to be like a little bit more buildable, but I'm just going to take it into the crease and then do these little circular motions to blend it upwards towards my brow. They're like, we're going to give you one matte shade and it is going to be intense. <laughs> Ooh, that is pretty. Now I am going to go in with a little bit more. Let's kind of like feather it upwards. I do wish that this palette did have like a mid-tone. You know like this like mid-tone blue that you're kind of seeing me blend it into almost? That is what I wish this palette had. But I can kind of see why they didn't include it because I think that one of these palettes has, yeah like this palette right here, you can see it kind of has like this bluish green. And this is the Allure One palette. And I know that their Wahala palette they have a lot of blues in them too, so I can kind of see where they're coming from, but at the same time, you know, if you're only, like, buying, like, one palette from Juvia's and you don't have a lot of blues, it'd be nice to have, like, you know, at least two in this palette with it having six shades. But I'm going to go in with more because I just, I don't know, like, I feel like it's really, like, adhering to my eye primer. Which is kind of making it a little bit tricky to blend up. Like, again, it's really pigmented. But it's kind of a little bit um, tricky to work with. Not horrible. It's kind of like one of those ones you almost have to dip in more, not for more pigment, but to kind of get more on your brush to help give you a better blend. And also, I feel like this shade is giving me a little bit of chunkiness. Again, like the pigmentation is there, but you can see like it's giving me a really harsh line. Like right there. I'm going to go in with a little bit more. See if we can kind of like finesse it out a little bit, maybe? Maybe. Yeah, it's not budging. And I'm actually going to take a little bit more on my brush and like pack it a little bit onto the lid. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it all over just to have a good base for those shimmers that we're going to pop on in a second. But you can see like it's just looking real chunky, like right in here. Which I'm kind of bummed about. Again, I feel like if I had a mid-tone blue to blend this into, I probably wouldn't have had as many issues. So you can kind of see like the edge is looking a little chunky. So I'm going to go in with a clean brush. This is like a shader brush. You can kind of see it's like kind of fluffy, kind of flat at the same time. Kind of a little bit more on the smaller side. And I'm just going to run it right on the edge doing these little circular motions. You can also go in with a shade similar to your skin tone. Like the shade you would want is something similar to what is underneath your brow bone, like this kind of shade. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little more on the brush that we're using to buff out the edge. And I'm going to just apply a little bit more in those chunky spots. See if I can like buff out the edge, maybe. Yeah, actually that is helping a lot. Again, I wouldn't say that this is the most beginner-friendly blue I've ever used. Another disadvantage to me about this palette is a lot of the shimmers in here have a very similar tone. Like, there isn't a lot of light ones and deep ones mixed in. They're all kind of very similar with the depth that they're going to give. But let's do some swatches because I'm not 100% sure about that. Especially, like, these three right here. So this is what they look like on my fingers. Okay, honestly, I think they look a lot different on my fingers than they do in the pan. 
because at first I was like, how am I going to get a lot of depth? But this is what they look like. Yeah, like they look way different in the pan. Like the pan, they all look alike. But when applied like this, like you can definitely see a little bit more variation. Okay, so we're gonna go in with the shimmer that just really catches my eye every single time I open up this palette, and that is this one right here. And this is more like the true blue one in this palette. And I'm just gonna be taking it dry on this shader brush that I have. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna go in with my finger right away. Like, don't get me wrong, like, it was applying fine with the brush, but this one just needs the finger. Not in that way, but you know what I mean. But with the kind of look that we're doing, I feel like using my fingers just going to be a little easier. And you can see I'm applying it all over my lid, and then I'm just kind of, like, lightly bringing it up into my crease in the center here. Using whatever is left on my finger. I'm definitely going for a very, like, smoky, kind of, like, wet effect kind of vibe today. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit more in the center and then buff it out and then after it's applied i'm just going to take that brush that we applied the matte shade with no additional on the brush and i'm just going to lightly dust the edges to help soften up the shimmer honestly i really like how this look is turning out it's definitely a lot different than i had actually planned but i still think it's really cool and you know sometimes it's just kind of nice to kind of like mix it up a little bit and i feel like this is definitely doing that for me but for the center of the lid, I do want to like a little bit more contrast. Like I want to lighten it up here, you know, just to give a little bit more dimension. So I'm going to go in with this shade right here in the center. And it's kind of like a smoky, like grayish blue with like a hint of purple to it. And I'm just going to pop it here in the center using my finger. Yeah, it's kind of like, again, it kind of has like a little bit more of like a grayish look to it. It's pretty, but I wish that this palette had like an icy blue, like a really like pale icy blue shimmer. You know what I mean? Like a whitish or like an iridescent blue, something like that. You know, just to give a lot of contrast to the other shades in here. And I'm just going to kind of like feather it up into the crease as well, using whatever is left on my finger. Ooh, that added a lot though. But you see what I mean though? It doesn't have like a huge difference though between the two. So that's why I wish that there was something a little bit lighter in here. So I just did the rest of my face off camera and I kind of went for like a 90s kind of lip. I don't know. I really want to make sure that the eyes are the focal point just because they're so like loud and like proud. You know what I mean? But let's do the lower lash line. And again, I'm just going to go in with that matte shade that we have been using on this little like brush from ColourPop. It's an E29. I'm going to smoke it as close as I can to where the lashes grow up. Okay, this palette doesn't have like a good inner corner highlight, if you know what I mean. Like there's nothing like super like light and bright, which you guys know is what I go for. So I'm actually going to go in with one of their new liquid shadows that I picked up. Like seriously, like I saw these and I could not pass them up. I only got two of them though. I didn't get the pinky ones. I got the gold one and then this one right here that's more of like an iridescent. And this one is called Fula. But apparently they are a duochrome, but let me just show you how this swatches. Like I literally swatched it because I just had to see it. But I mean, oh. Like, it is so freaking cool. I mean, just look at that. It's technically a duochrome, but this one's kind of like an iridescent. Like, you can kind of see it doesn't have a lot of base pigment to it, but it shifts like crazy. Since I have a really dark smoky eye, I'm just going to go in with a little pencil brush and kind of like grab it off of this applicator. Normally, I would just use the applicator, but I don't want to like contaminate it, if you get what I mean. Like, I don't want it to be like tinted blue yet, but I'm just going to do like a dot. And then I'm just going to tap it out and whew, that is so freaking pretty. Like that is literally what this look needed. Like, oh my gosh, like seriously, like, like this formula is really good too. Like it's kind of like an iridescent bluish purple pink. It's called like duochrome, but I don't know if you can see it or not, but it has like baby blue and then it has pinky purple shifts to it. I'm going to go in just like a little bit more. I don't know if you can see the shift or not in my camera, but it is absolutely insane. Now, I don't know if I see like the purple blue shift that it technically has when I swatch it on my hand. I don't think my camera is showing it, but like in person, like this is absolutely magical. When applied with this particular eye look, I don't see the shift. It just kind of looks like a really like extra sparkly blue. 
which I love, but I wish I could see like that little hint of pink to it. Do you ever have those days where your hair just doesn't cooperate? Like mine just does not want to be down today for some odd reason. Like it just does not look cute. So we're just gonna put it in a claw clip and call it a day. But overall though, I will say after using this palette, it's a very niche palette. Like this is one of those palettes I don't see everybody really loving. Cause again, for a six pan palette, it has one matte in here and the matte that is in here is a little bit on the deeper side. And also like the shimmers in here, like they're really amazing quality. It's just that they're all fairly deep in tone. Like this is like one of those ones again, like you have to either want like really dark shimmer shades to add to your existing collection, or you're wanting like a specific kind of palette that you're just not really seeing all that much on the market. But it is one of those ones I could see complementing other palettes in your collection, you know, whether that is like grayish shades, purples, you know, another like lighter blue kind of palette. Like this is like one of those ones I think would be better added to a collection unless you're wanting to experiment with specific shades. Now would I recommend this palette? Honestly, I think it's a really cute palette. Again, you have to want it for a specific reason. And if it fits like a certain kind of thing that you're looking for, I think it's really nice. I could actually see myself using it again. It's just, again, I would probably use it com paired with maybe like the violets palette or something that has like a little bit more tone variety with the mattes or maybe even like the Wahala palette, you know, just something to get a little bit more oomph from, you know, because again, like you're only going to probably be able to get like a certain kind of amount of looks with this palette. And as a side note, this liquid shadow, like holy shit, like I feel like I need to get the other two because the formula of this, like it is so sparkly and intense. It does not flake. It does not get like crispy or chunky. It's extremely pigmented right away. Now I will say this is fairly pricey. I think it's like $15 each. Like it is definitely up there for a liquid shadow. I personally only shop on juviousplace.com because they have a lot of coupon codes. So I think I got like some sort of deal. I ran like that honey browser thing and I got them fairly cheap. So, I mean, you kind of have to shop for these when there's a sale just because they're a little bit more on the pricey side. But yeah, so in the comments down below, let me know what you think about this look. And also let me know what you think about this palette because again, it's a very niche palette. So I would love to hear if you think it's really cool, if you think it's kind of ugly, just let me know. And also if you've tried it, let me know what you think about the formula. And also let me know which of the other two Olori palettes you would like to see. Again, here is volume one. And this one just screams like summer vibes to me. I don't know if you get that vibe too. But this is kind of like a mac and cheese, kind of like squash kind of shade. I don't know how else to explain it, but it's just like one of those like orangey yellowy shades. It is super pretty. Like this teal shimmer shade, just like, oh, like it is super pretty. And then here is the Olori 3 palette. And again, this one is kind of like a springish kind of summery vibe. Like it kind of has like this really cool kind of like corally kind of vibe with like a blue pop. I don't know, like I thought it was a really pretty palette. So let me know which one you'd like to see next. And also let me know if you like to see more like looks using the liquid shadows. Cause honestly, I have a really cool idea with this. So if you like to see it, let me know. But before you go though, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below and also give this video a like. And if you'd like to check me out over on Instagram or TikTok, it's at Brianna Faye as well. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.